When you're talking about success in college hoops on the women's side, you have to put Don Staley in South Carolina in the conversation. The Hall of Famer has turned South Carolina into a powerhouse for the last decade. And when we're talking about the postseason, USC has become a staple there. We're not too far removed back from her moment back in 2017 where Gamecocks won it all, something that's been fueling them moving forward as well. So South Carolina has one of the great ones at the helm, 13 seasons there in Columbia, mentioned that Chip four years ago was named 2020 Naismith Coach of the Year, four-time SEC Coach of the Year as well. And talk about stuff in the stat sheet as a player, which he came along and played in the Olympics, now delivering as the HC for Team USA as well. All right, joining us now on behalf of Under Armour head coach of the Gamecocks, Don Staley. Appreciate your time, coach. Uh, before we get into it, I want to look back a little bit at this season. Reaching the Final Four three times in six years. A lot of hoops and ladders for a lot of teams with the pandemic. How did you kind of stay focused on your goals over that time? Um, I, I think just being in a pandemic, you know, a lot of people will look at the, you know, the, the worst part of it. And the worst part of it is, it's not our norm. Um, we have a new norm. So you have to you have to bend with the times. You, you can't be the same way. You can still have the same core values and same uh, philosophy. Um, but you you have to you have to look out and see who you're coaching and how they're responding to your coaching and how they're responding to their new environment. And I was really fortunate in that. We had players who they would do anything just to play. So if that meant we got to test every day, they're going to be there on time and happy to do that. Um, if we have any interruptions in our, our schedule, um, we get in front of it. We talk about it and we don't leave room for them to think, oh, well, it's me. No, it's us in the midst of um, trying to navigate through a pandemic. And I think that is the key through all of it is just, communicating and making sure that everybody's okay and giving them a safe space to just talk about it. Cause there are some, you know, some challenging days um, when you're in the midst of a, a pandemic. Yeah, staying mentally tough and competing at that level. I want to talk about a special moment for you during the tournament, your sister, Tracy battle leukemia. Like most of us, we were separated from our families during the pandemic, but you had a chance to see her in San Antonio. I'm curious, what was that like for you? And how did you stay mentally tough for your team as well as with having her there as well? You know, the, the, the very thing that makes us up as athletes and coaches and you know, people that are in sports, um, I, I often uh, compare sports to, in, in this analogy, it is uh, um, you have to be um, four times as mentally tough as you, you do physically tough. And when something hits you like your sister being diagnosed with uh, leukemia, all of those things, you, you, you're familiar with those feelings and you're familiar with what you need to do. You got to compartmentalize, put your life on hold and zero in on, on the task at hand. And, and my sister's health um, was that. And it was actually a blessing in disguise that it was during um, the pandemic in which I had lots of time. I would have taken the time regardless, but we weren't doing anything in May and June and July, but it took us all the way to November for my sister to get a clean bill of health. Um, but it takes that kind of uh, mental toughness, stamina to, to get through that. And I, I think sports, um, being in sports all of my life, um, helped me in that moment. So, you know, although you're trying to win basketball games and and, and use your, your mental toughness and strength through, through outfoxing your opponent, um, but when, when the opponent is life, um, you thank sports for helping you build that up to where you, 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 you know you can endure anything as long as you keep the right mindset. I know it's a special moment you won't forget, of course, for a very long time. Uh, but of course, we all know your work extends outside of South Carolina, also coaching Team USA. You won as a coach and a player. I know you're keeping your eye on that streak a little bit, want to keep that alive. How do you kind of describe your competitive mindset when preparing for moments like this? Uh, I mean, my mindset is, is I mean, it, it, it doesn't differ from when I played in three Olympic games or when I was an assistant coach for another two. Um, now that I'm the head coach, um, it, it doesn't differ. I think that is what makes um, our, our USA basketball team so successful in that our, our mindset is one goal, um, gold or failure, 
And when you know that the pressure is that high, you just want to get back. You want to get to where you are, where you normally are. You know, the stakes are higher, um, but you want to stay in the space of what got you to be successful. And, and, and for us, it is approaching it the same way. Although, you know, we are still in a pandemic, you have to approach it as if this is the only thing that matters. Anything outside of playing a game and winning the gold medal can pick up um, after you're, you know, you, you step down from that podium with that gold medal around your neck and, you know, compartmentalizing is a big key in, in being successful in our, in our sport. And that's no different if it's um, here at USC or it's in, uh, you know, in Japan and that, that huge stadium that we'll play in. Coach, I mean, we all know you have a stack resume from Temple to WNBA Hall of Famer to a national champion at South Carolina. How has the way you train your mind changed over time here? Well, I, I think with, with me and training my mind, um, I, I really take the onus off of me and put it on somebody else because you, you have to be conscious of um, working with young people, working with people who haven't had the opportunity to build mental stamina. Um, you build, they're building it as, as young people right now. But for me, um, it, it, it's just about instilling in them all the, all the exercises that I use that keep my mind strong. And, and, you know, the biggest thing is you, you take on what you can take on in each moment. You can't let, you can't let the moment get outside of what it is or else you'll skip some steps. So handle everything that comes your way at that moment. Don't put it off for tomorrow because it, it tends to build up and then you get in a place where you just try to get through it and it's not your best work. All right, head coach John Staley of the Gamecocks here in South Carolina. Appreciate your time as always. And uh, stay healthy and stay happy. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.